So apparently tax debits can be transferred between spouses. Let's have a look. Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of Heiser Says. I thought we'd have a look at this article from ABC News where the High Court rules aid, rules against ATO, against our Australian Taxation Office, finding tax debts can be shifted between spouses in a divorce. Now, I instantly think of how this can be used to the advantage of perhaps women who want to shift their debt on to their partner. Hmm? What do you think? Let's have a look. So a recent High Court case has found that a tax debit of one spouse can be shifted to another during a divorce property settlement, which lawyers say is unprecedented and could leave the richer spouse with the debts of their former partner. Wow. Can, can you just see this happening? Can you, can you just see this happening? It's nuts. It really is. The key points. The case looked at whether uh, the family court can give orders to the ATO, you'd hope it wouldn't, as part of the determination of divorce-related property disputes. The tax commissioner appealed to the High Court and lost. The tax man is now potentially out of pocket a quarter of a million dollars because the husband is bankrupt. Lawyers said the case has shifted the goalposts and one spouse may be responsible for another spouse's taxation liabilities and or penalties. You know, I'm of two minds of this. I like the fact that the tax man's getting shafted because, come on, I'm a normal human. But, yeah, you know, they should just go back to simple family-based taxation. The case of Commissioner of Taxation versus uh, Tamaris concerned whether the family courts can give orders to government agencies, in this case the ATO, as part of a determination of a property dispute. After the breakdown of a marriage, one spouse who had incurred a $250,000 tax debit during the marriage sought an order from the Federal Circuit Court that her bankrupt partner become solely liable for the debt. I wonder if this is because they had dodgy business setups. The full court said uh, S90 AE1 of the Family Law Act 1975 confers power onto the court that enables it to make an order that the commissioner be directed to substitute the husband for the wife in relation to the debt, debit owed by the wife to the commissioner. The tax commissioner appealed to the high court and lost. The tax man can now potentially be out of pocket a quarter of a million. Oh, well. The ATO was contacted for comment about whether it plans to pursue the tax debt, but said, due to privacy and secrecy reasons, we are unable to comment on the tax affairs of individuals or entities. Senior associate at Hopgood Garnham Lawyers, Sophia Pipos, said the case highlights the importance of spouses being aware that they may ultimately be responsible for another spouse's taxation liabilities and or penalties. There has to be more to this. If they were both working separately, doing their own individual taxes, there has to be more than this. Um, it may now be open to the spouse as part of their property settlement to seek a substitution order, she said. For other spouses who may have been unwilling to share in the burden of a taxation liability accrued during the relationship, the liability can be included in the available property and can also be transferred directly to the other spouse if in all circumstances it would be just and equitable to do so i wonder so the facts of the case mr and mrs uh, tamaris were married from 92 to 2009 during the marriage the ato issued an assessment against mr tamaris Mrs. Tamaris, involving income tax and medicare levies in november 2014 mr tamaris became bankrupt Soon after, in December 2014, Mrs. Tamaris initiated proceedings in the Federal Circuit Court seeking alteration of property interests under family law. It's funny how, how they are they working the system? Maybe not because this is unheard of. The commissioner was given leave to intervene in the proceedings as Mrs. Tamaris had failed to pay the amounts owed after the assessment without having lodged any objection. In response, Mrs. Tamaris sought an order to substitute Mr. Tamaris for herself as the debitor. The High Court found that a court has jurisdiction over debits owed to the Commonwealth and a court has power under S90AE to order the Commissioner to substitute the husband for the wife in relation to the debt owed to the Commonwealth 
arising under taxation law. Well, we all know taxation is theft, so now they can transfer who they're stealing from. You know, the, the patriarchy is, is going away from the wife and transferring it onto the ex-husband. I, I, this is just... Anyway, the ATO notes on its website that the High Court also observed there will be seldom, if, if ever, be occasion to exercise that power and adversely affect the commissioner or other creditors. The court said a substitution order should only be made when it is just and equitable to do so, and not if it is foreseeable that the order would result in debt not being fully paid. Well, that's exactly what's happening. So the fallout from the High Court decision. Family law specialist with uh, Fort Family Lawyers, Jackie Campbell, said the floodgates have not opened to allow people another way to avoid paying tax. Oh, sorry, guys. I think a few people are disappointed there. In some circumstances, the debt can could be shifted, but only if the person does have capacity to pay the debt, she said. If the wife is still pursuing her application, it would now be decided by the family court. The high court having given guidance as to the law, she said. Special counsel with uh, Barry... Nelson lawyers, Alison Caputa, said it may also mean that tax liabilities out of a discretionary trust out of discretionary trust distributions where spouses once elected to share income could be affected. It's evil and vengeful. Uh, the court is the court has power to name another spouse that's li liable. That is, put the spouse in the shoes of the person who owes the tax liability, she says. This doesn't seem this doesn't seem fair, does it? Let me know in the comments. What what do you guys think? Does this seem fair? There has to be more to the story. Maybe if they were running a business together, or maybe if she was just the you know the biz the business manager, and it was all run through the wife so he could protect you know not expose the family home to liability. I don't know. This allows courts to immediately alleviate them of the debt burden. The more financial spouse takes on the debt. Wow. She said that for some clients, there may be benefits in seeking a substitution. If your client is on the other side of the fence, that is, you are giving advice to the financial spouse that does not have the debt in their name, you would say you need to be aware that the court may make this order and a way to avoid it is to provide discharge of the debt by other means. Okay, so it, it looks like it's just part of the property settlement. It looks like it was just part of the property settlement that, oh, the wife has this debt, okay, give it to the husband. Wow. Well, maybe she's just trying to do it to get out of it because the husband's bankrupt. I, I, This seems odd. And this seems like it can be abused. Let me know what you think, guys. Please, leave a comment. You know, you th does this seem strange to you? I wonder what will happen. Wow. You know, I, I, every day, the more of this stuff I'm reading, the more I appreciate the monk mode big town. <laughs> That's why they're going down that path. I can appreciate it, but yeah. Oh, well, guys, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for joining me for this episode, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.